Now I will show you how to delete files from the storage path. For example, in the storage path, I have public uploads and here I had a photo, but now there is no photo. I am going to upload a photo now. For example, I am going to upload this photo. Okay, now there is a photo. So in this location, you see that there is a new image. This is my photo. Now I will just delete the photo from this location. How I can do that? I am just going to make a link under this photo like this that is delete photo. So delete photo. I just create a hyperlink. Let's check it. Yes, there is a delete photo. If a person uh, click on the delete photo, I will delete the photo. So I am going to call it out here. That is, for example, delete. Now I am going to my home controller and here I will create a delete function, public function delete. And here in the web.php, I am going to copy this on and I am going to create just a route here. That will be get route is okay. It will be delete. So like this and there will be a name that is delete and this will be the delete method. So in the home controller, I will delete this photo. Okay. So I can just use a, a storage delete this function. Remember, in order to delete a photo, we can use total three methods here. One is a storage delete this function. So a storage class where I in the top, I will have to use here the storage facet. So illuminate then I will have to call here uh, first it will be uh, illuminate then I will have to call the support then facets and then a storage if you call it in the top then this storage facet will work here so storage of delete and here I will have to tell which file I will uh, I am going to delete so just here give that uh, here my photo is into the into the storage there is a public uploads here so storage path means here i am going to call for example uh, storage delete uploads uploads and then i will just call the photo name for example all of my photo name is image.jpg so i just use this uploads new image.jpg now if I uh, click here delete photo if it is deleted or not in order to check it I uh, come into my editor and you see that in the storage the photo is not here that is deleted and here you see that the photo there is no photo here. So in this way I can delete a photo I am going to upload another new photo this photo and if I click on delete this will be vanished. So here I am going to call a redirect here so that I can understand it easily. So here I am going to delete photo. The photo is deleted and the photo is not here. Uh, from there the photo is deleted and you see that from the public it is also deleted. So this is very amazing thing. So I hope you have understood how to delete photo using the storage this class. This means the storage facet using this storage facet. I have just deleted the photo from the location. Now I am just going to use another technique. So instead of using the storage system, I could use another one that is the file system. So this is use file. So using this system, I am going to call here another one that will be the file delete. If you use the file delete, then you will have to tell the full path that is a storage, a storage path. You will have to tell it. A storage path means the location of this storage, this location, a storage app. This is actually the storage path. And here I will have to tell which file you are going to delete. So here uh, storage path means the storage folder actually. So in the storage folder, I will have to tell the complete path. That means app, then I will have to tell public, then uploads, and then new image.jpg. Now let's try with it and just close this. 
so if i use this one i am going to refresh now i am going to upload a new photo like this and submit this photo is uploaded so in this location now there is a photo this photo right and in the public here also this photo comes so same photo in both places now i am going to delete it so click here the photo is deleted now i am going here you see that into the storage app public uploads there is no photo also in from the public that is gone so i hope you have understood these things i am going to comment it out again there is another very straightforward method that is unlink that you use in the raw php so the same thing you can use here and the storage path will be same just i am going to copy and paste it so in this way you can also remove the photo so i am going to upload a new photo again for example this one and i am going to click on submit if i go to here you will see that the photo is here now and now i am going to delete it so let's check to delete it click on delete it is deleted if you go here you will see that in the storage app public uploads there is no photo and also from here the photo is deleted so in this way you can easily delete the photos if you want that not only from the storage folder you want to uh, delete a photo from the public folder then just uh, instead of a storage path you will just have to use the public path public path so if you use the public path then from the public folder it will be deleted so into the public folder if your location is like that the public uploads the storage actually was created for the symbolic link but normally if you want to upload any uh, photo into the public uploads folder then you will have to tell like this so public photo of uploads and then the photo name you will have to give here so i hope you have understood how to delete files in laravel if you want that i uh, want to upload a file not photo you also can do that and you can delete the same way i am going to make it a comment off again and now i am just going here now i will select not photo i will just select a file so i am going to the documents pdf there is nothing so videos i am going to try to upload another file for example html file for example oh sorry i am going to upload for example this ico file open submit now i am just going here you will see that new image.ico comes here this one right and in the case of storage it comes and in the case of public it comes in both places this photo comes that means it is working now if i want to delete this one actually it is not jpg it is, it is ico so i give the name ico now if i want to delete it how it will work just there will be no preview here because the ico has no preview i use the img tag there so it, there is no preview here so that is not a problem here i am going to click on delete it should be deleted if you now come here into the storage folder you see that there is nothing here that means the file is deleted successfully so not only the photo you can also delete the files in the same way